It's taken a few stims to get here, but we're in the barn, we're well rested, and we're going to take an honest shot, an honest stab at getting to Timberwolf Mountain. It's kind of like coming full circle, if you remember how this three-start series began back in the day. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. And yeah, we're going to we're gonna make our way towards Timberwolf Mountain. I, I do genuinely think that um, it might be the last zone that we go in this series, because uh, a few people have commented on this, but what I'm about to say is mainly just coming from my own feelings about the series, and I've mentioned it in the last episode or two. And... It deserves to be said that part of this issue is just because we're in Pleasant Valley, and Pleasant Valley is actually miserable. But the temperature uh, settings for this particular playthrough have been really prohibitive of just basic exploration and uh, enjoyment of the game. Which is a shame, but it's also just the truth. Um, I'm, I'm looking around for things that I can break up. Oh, look, there's a whetstone. Oh, it's ruined. It's probably one that I dropped. Um... There's probably some wood over here that I can break down. There is... How much wood do I have on me? That's the question. I brought some with me, so I can start a fire. We've got this tinder that's not even needed. I'll drop that in a second and make a few commenters very happy. But, yeah, the, uh... I, I very much suspect that Timberwolf Mountain will be the last zone that we go to, just because the settings that I've chose, um, because they're very interloper-like, Ultimately, I might make my Against All Odds setting still harder than Interloper in some ways, but I might make the world degradation and weather degradation settings a little bit more stalker-like so that we can have those good long runs with a lot of exploration where we're not constantly dying just by walking around. Again, my example that I've used a bunch of times is um, I'm wearing two freaking expedition parkas. Come on, guys. <laughs> that should count for something, but the, uh, the weather is so bad. So bad that uh, it, it, it just doesn't doesn't count for anything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat this bear steak. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I right, didn't mean to do that. Risk of intestinal parasites. Of course, saw that coming. Now, that does mean that I drank. Well, I guess it affected my thirst the same direction either way. But we now have most of the night to get through. But we're well rested. Not even fully rested. I could sleep a little while longer, in fact. I didn't realize that. I think I'm going to. I'm just gonna get back in here and sleep. And then we're gonna break some stuff down, pass some time. So let's see, I'm going to rest. By the way, I did confirm after going back, after the last recording session, I did confirm and I talked to a few commenters about this, that fire situation at the barn where I was like, maybe I said it too long to sleep. I know that, <laughs> It bothers me how many people didn't see this, but I'm going to teach you something about the long dark. If you set your hours... I do this on the series all the time. If you set your sleep time to 10 hours, you're not necessarily going to sleep for 10. A lot of the time I will say, well, I'm going to say 10 hours, but I'm not going to sleep that long. I'll wake up sooner. I almost always say that, and it's just kind of a gameplay mechanic that I did. I did that that time. Um, I, I set it to 10 hours knowing that I wouldn't sleep for 10 hours. And if you looked uh, at that in that moment that the fire blew out at where the sundial was versus, you know, where it was when I woke up, then it was very clear that it was actually the fire going out and not me sleeping for longer than the fire was supposed to leave. Because the, the point was that there was six hours of time left on the fire, right? This is the whole situation back at the barn by the farmstead uh, a few episodes back that cost me so much condition. The episode was uh, One Awful Morning, I believe I called it. And uh, it was just because the fire did, in fact, blow out. I was able to go back and look. So uh, there was a lot of mea culpa and, oh, my mistake. But in that case, it wasn't. I didn't sleep for 10 hours. And I, had I thought that I would sleep for 10 hours, I wouldn't have set it to that. But just to be clear, um, that is a gameplay mechanic that you can use. You know, if you just, I do it all the time. But you can just say, I want to sleep for as long as I possibly can. Just set it to a nice round 10 and let it go. And it'll wake you up when it wakes you up. Which is what it did. And it just so happened the fire had been blown out an hour or two beforehand. Maybe like an hour. So, anyway, now that I've explained that, let's, uh, let's sleep for ten hours. Except, not ten hours. Okay, see, now the rest meter is full. It woke us up just maybe, I would say, two hours later. And, um, it does sound like there's a blizzard outside. I really hope that's gone by the morning. But let's see what I can do with my time here while I'm just kind of messing around. I have some uh, firearm cleaning kits. I, 
can go ahead and start breaking these down, or not breaking them down, but using them. And as you can see, this is passing a little bit of time. So this will help me get through the night as well. It's nice that I can do this in the complete dark. It's a little bit funny that I can. I may also be able to do this with the revolver. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Don't harvest the gun. <laughs> uh, okay, it's clean now. <laughs> I just give you guys a heart attack. Uh, I'd noticed the, the metal on the screen at the last second. I was like, wait, no, that's something different. No, don't harvest it. Come back. Yeah, let's clean this thing as well. Now I can light a fire and potentially repair some clothes as well. I don't know that I want to um, light a fire in here though. I might I might prefer to save my wood for a situation where maybe I need to cook some meat out in the open. Like I might need to kill a bunny out here. Yeah, there's a part of me that's just feeling like I don't I don't need to start a fire while I'm in here. I might just pass some time. Okay, so there's that. I am gonna go ahead and drop. Where are you? I don't need any of that. I don't need that. I don't need that. It's tinder. It's not necessary. We have high enough fire starting skill. We do have some sewing kits still. We have three whetstones and some very sharpened tools. Let's see. Let's put stuff in order of weight. That's, that's what I've got here. I could... I think I can do this in the dark. Can't I? It's a lovely blizzard outside. This will reduce my weight as well. I'm going to need to find some more food pretty quick or I'm going to lose my well-fed bonus, and I really would not like to lose that. I have the... Um, words come to me. I have the... Tuna on me. Not tuna. Salmon. I have the salmon, but it's pretty low condition, and that stuff can cause food poisoning even at low condition. The sun is about to start coming up. Thank God. You're going to see it start to peak above the horizon in just a second on our sundial. Okay, and then I will craft a few bandages. Again, this is really just past time. We've passed a significant amount of time just using the crafting menu while we've been in here. All right, that's 10 cloth. I think um, I need to have five cloth up oh, as I realize I left my, uh, my printer on. Might make noises while I'm doing this recording, but oh well. I print an episode log when I record so that I can... Um, I really love that they changed the breath transparency. It's so much better. Like, that was something they really needed to fix. Um, but yeah, I print an episode log every time I record so I can make notes of, like, you know, moments that I need to... Like, if I cough accidentally or if there's something that I need to edit out. Um, even that right there. Like, if I catch myself uh, with a lot of verbal filler... <laughs> if I if I catch myself one particular episode using um a little bit too much, I'll be like ah let me go in and get some of the take some of those out. You know it's just audio editing, and I'll make notes. Also make notes of episode titles as I record. You know just ideas for what to call various segments in the series. And uh, sometimes I leave my printer on by mistake. Did that texture just flicker. I think it did. All right. So we've got these crates up here that I could totally break down for some wood, and this is just going to take thirty minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've got the lantern fuel for it, and plus it's just a way to pass some time. And now I think what I'm going to do is go rest again, just until the sun comes up. And I really hope the blizzard goes away at about the same time, because I would like to get moving relatively quickly. All right. I also, am, one thing I might do, I might light a fire. Yeah, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Because we need to pass some time and wait this blizzard out, we do need a fire to make some water. That's true. That is real. So let's do that. I hate that we've spent the first 10 minutes of this episode indoors, but again, this is why we're thinking about 
changing temperature settings for the next run. I want to have a nice, long, against all odds series, you know, or not against all odds, even, you know, it might just be a challenge series of some kind, um, like I've done in the past, not necessarily an interloper series. Who knows what I'll do next, but, um, you know, it's, it's fun when, when there's a good balance of fun and challenge, you know. So, let's see. Do I need to use the accelerant? I don't think I do. I think I'd rather save that. So, let's just use the wood matches. Start the fire. 85% start chance is pretty damn good. I'll be alright with that. Dare I say, I'll be alright with that. Okay. Now apparently we can put coal on the fire immediately. Again, we discovered that in a previous episode, but um, one thing that's that's kind of been apparent in watching some other Long Dark players um, play, and um, even in a little bit of doing my own recording, I love that the top of the barrel... Has it always done that, or did they update that? I feel like that's new. You can see the top of the barrel getting hot. Even lower down in the barrel, you can see it getting hot. That's really cool. Have I just never noticed that before? Am I that lame? Do I use fire barrels that rarely? It just seems like the fire looks hotter. That's just cool. Anyway, um... There, there are some, some changes to the sandbox. Even though the most recent update wasn't a sandbox update, there have definitely been some, um, some changes. For sure. And some of them uh, in the form of bugs. And we're not quite sure how we feel about it, are we? So that's an interesting shift as well. All right, so 13 minutes until melted. Hmm... I'm just, I'm going to pass time the normal way. Drink this. Now, I actually do have a lot of time. If I can find something that only takes a few minutes to break down, might be, might be okay. We've got an hour and 30 minutes left on this fire. I don't know, part of me just wants to pass time. Just do this. I'm hoping that blizzard goes away. All right, 36 minutes until it's boiled dry. Take it. I don't have too much water on me. That's a pretty good amount, especially considering that my thirst meter is almost full. So let's pick this up. And that blizzard is still going. We're going to start getting daylight in here pretty soon. Let's see. 56 minutes remaining. Do I keep the fire going, or do I just hop back in the truck and rest for a while longer? I think I will. Tell you what, let's let's get a little bit more water out of this deal, since we're here and since we're gonna need it. We've got the fire. Might as well use it. All right. So the blizzard has gone away. Perfect timing. And we don't quite have daylight in here yet. I can probably rest for a few minutes just to get ready. All right, 19 minutes left on the fire. That worked really well. Let's step back inside. We don't have to rest inside here, but I'm just I'm doing it because. Uh, let's rest in the bearskin bed roll just because. Let's sleep for just two hours. Just two. That's all I need. Just a couple. And we'll have some daylight when we get up. Thank God. There we go. All right. Doesn't sound like it's bad outside at all right now. I'm a little bit worried about the potential of wolves, but uh, all right, we're fully warmed up. Let's go ahead and drink. One thing I'm going to need is food and soon. I don't want to eat those sardines right now because I'm, I need to be mobile and I don't want to have food poisoning. But any wolves? Hello, hello. Okay, so there's the birch forest. I need to be careful going into the birch forest because there is a bear patrol route back in here. As a matter of fact, almost every time I've been in the birch forest, I have seen the bear 
in recent memories. We're going to go back in this general direction because once we're through the birch forest, not only will we have picked up some birch bark, which we've been looking for forever in a day, thank God, finally have some, but we will also, okay, those are not, those are just traveling crows. Um, none of those sound like carrion crows. But anyway, uh, we will also uh, be a little bit closer to the temple wolf exit, which again is where we're trying to go. It is freaking cold. Negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 20. Freezing in Fahrenheit, if you need a gentle reminder for those of you that don't use Imperial units. 32. 32. Positive. 32. And when it starts to feel comfortable up from 32 is right around 60 degrees. So it's only about 30 degrees. And we're 50 below freezing in the opposite direction of where it starts to feel comfortably warm. All right. Looking for birch bark on the ground. This is quite an extensive birch forest. I think I see a deer over there, which is good. We found a lonely homestead. We have hypothermia risk, unsurprisingly. More re-recorded lines. I'm really hoping to find a worn wool scarf. No, that wasn't what I was... Wait, what? Okay, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> These have never been fully realized houses before. Scrub brush, no. I just need birch bark. Ah, I see some. Ah, that I will pick up. I can't, I can't fool around too much out here. Because I'm already losing a lot of condition. Oh good, I'm seeing lots of birch bark now. I'm already losing condition to the cold. Plus, I don't want to actually get hypothermic, you know? So I want to pick up some sticks while I'm here. And some birch bark. Not as much birch bark as I was hoping to find walking through an entire forest of the stuff. But, uh, I'll take it. I'm going to see what areas in the back of the zone I might be able to find. Oh, bear crows. Where are you, bastard? I hear you. He's close. I don't know where. He's in there somewhere. I definitely... It was on the left-hand side. Turn up your audio if you're listening on headphones. You'll hear him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's way over there. Wow. He's through the trees in that direction. But, okay. Let's go this way. Can't afford to lose much more condition. But I will grab some cattails if I can. Now, there may be some stuff worth grabbing back at that particular waterfall right there. So I'll take a peek. But we want to make our way to the back of the zone. We're not quite at the Temple Wolf transition area yet. You know, I could have made some teas. Ooh, that would have been good to do on the fire, rather than just making water. I needed water to make the teas, so... It goes both ways. Okay, I'm mainly just looking for cattails back here. seeing anything, really. Let's keep moving this way. I would like to go all the way back into that corner and explore, because there is somewhere in Pleasant Valley now. Um, again, this is an issue with the temperature settings. I really do want to explore kind of the new Pleasant Valley. Like, I want to go up to Skeeter's Ridge. People have suggested that I go up that way. Uh, but it's just like... A constant push and pull. Okay, yeah, this isn't the campsite. This is not the campsite. 
Part of me wants to just kill that deer, light a fire, and cook it. Should I do that, you think? Well, the thing is, right now I'm hypothermic, so I don't trust my shooting hands. I'm just going to wander a little bit farther back this way first. I want to actually get hypothermia. Yeah, I may have to, if I run into another deer, I may have to kill one before long. Just for sheer nutritional reasons. I was really hoping to find some cattails along the river when I crossed out of the birch forest and absolutely zero dice. Zero. No, no. Don't you sprain me, you bastard. Hypothermia risk is closing in on 33%. Not good. We haven't done too much sprinting, though, so we're well rested, at least. There are definitely going to be cattails at Timberwolf Mountain, so... I might have to eat that salmon. That's not an idea I'm in love with, for the record. But I may just have to bite the bullet. And do it. That's a rabbit. I could kill the rabbit. Wait, what? What? Oh, no, this is the rope up to, um... Yeah, I don't want to climb that. That would take too much energy. I could totally kill a rabbit right now. I could. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on, then. Hang on. I rough. I know where I am. I wasn't expecting to find this cabin. There's a deer over there. I may be able to justify hanging out here for a bit and killing some stuff for food. So. I can get a fire going in this area. Go kill a deer. Cook some meat on it. Stay here for a bit. Because we've lost a good amount of condition again. This might be... What, uh... This might be what saves me. All right, so we haven't been in the Draft Dodger's cabin yet. There's nothing in here. There's that slow crouching. Okay. I uh, don't see anything. Got uh, this bench that I can break down in 30 minutes for more wood. How much wood do I already have on me? I've got enough, and there are lots of sticks around that I could use to make a fire without too much trouble. So here's what I'm going to do. See if I can light a fire inside the cabin's porch area, which normally I can for cabins like this, but it doesn't seem like it's letting me now. God, I need a horse. Okay, well, that kind of sucks because now we're going to have to put a fire out in the open. So if the weather turns, is that a breeze kicking up? Yeah, if the weather turns, this, this is not going to be very useful to me. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, well, hang on. Is there, is there a... Wait, I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. I'm going to have to eat those sardines. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate everything about it. Don't give me food poisoning, please. Thank you, sardines. Okay. That's, that's the last bit of our food. And I'm going to have to kill a deer nearby in order to uh, to live. Or we could also just make some teas. Really, No, I right-clicked by accident. Um, we can make some teas. That can always do it. All right, so... Use the magnifying lens. Stick. Yay for a Magalens fire. Now the wind is starting to kick up, which is hilarious that it would start to kick up right now. Fire. Right now, of all times. That's just funny to me. But what I'm going to try to do, there is a deer nearby. I'm 
I try to warm up by the fire for a second, long enough to make my cold hands go away. Yeah, the thing is, the fire's gonna have to be pretty hot. We can put the one piece of coal on it. Lucky day. I need to find food. I'm not confident that this fire's gonna stick around, though. That's the issue. Fire's not nearly hot enough. Oh, wait. Okay. Just barely. But it is warming me up. Now, a couple different ways I could do this. I could look around for a bunny. That's a bunny right there. Damn. Really? Freezing. Do you see that? They normally never run at that range. You have got to be kidding me. They nerfed the revolver. They totally nerfed the revolver aim, which is fair. It's it's a handheld gun. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be uh a sharper shot than the rifle. But I used to be able to peg bunnies with that like nobody's business. No, not the flare gun. Yeah, I want to throw a rock. Thank you. See if we can get a bunny. That'll be enough to fill my stomach a little bit. Where'd you go? There you are. Gotcha. I'm sorry, buddy. So sorry. I really am. That's an Athena on habit right there. Let me see if I can do an impression. I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Oh man. Crossover viewers will find that amusing. Okay. So now, that's actually a pretty big rabbit. Um, all things considered, pretty good. Alright, it's gonna take seven minutes to harvest the meat. Okay. We're gonna... Plop this on the fire. That's just only, only going to take four minutes till it's ready. And as a matter of fact, I am going to stop this episode right here. In the next one, we're going to cook this. We'll have enough calories to keep moving. We might kill a deer before we move on, depending on how the weather treats us. This particular fire, but I'm going to use this um, this indoor step here as a saving point, and uh, we'll see what happens in the next one. I'm glad I managed to peg that bunny with at least a stone. It's it's ironic that I missed with a revolver and hit with a rock, so, you know, we can joke about that all we want, but we're going to keep heading towards Timberwolf Mountain and see what happens. Maybe even, since it's not Pleasant Valley, it might even be warmer up there. Part of me is thinking it might be. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, yeah, bear with me. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens given our, our temperature settings. Uh, it might even be more survivable than our current situation, especially once we found those blessed, blessed cattails. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.